Fisheries biologists are conducting dissolved oxygen testing on a variety of lakes statewide to check for winter kill. It's one of the things that we do every winter on select lakes, primarily the lakes that we have a reasonable chance of experiencing some sort of winter kill. Biologists also inspect water clarity, ice depths, water temperature, conductivity, and pH levels. Weather can certainly play a role in the status of these fisheries during North Dakota's leanest months. Have had a fair amount of snow, but the, the, the big thing is, is that a lot of this snow came in December, and we have found that the earlier the snowfall in the year, uh, the more likelihood that we can experience winter kills in a lot of our marginal waters. Kratz said with the amount of snow on the ice, oxygen isn't produced, and then the organic matter on the bottom of the lake decomposes and consumes the remaining oxygen. We've basically went out and checked a few lakes now, and indications are that we're certainly going to have more than we have had in, in several years, if not maybe even a decade. By the third week of February, biologists usually have a good idea which lakes are having trouble. One of the most indicative signs that there's probably uh, conditions are favorable for winter kill is the smell of hydrogen sulfide gas. Um, it's like the rotten egg proverbial thing that people talk about. If, if your water has an odor like that to it, there's a fairly good chance that, you know, at least in that area, it isn't going to be good for fishing at the very least. If a lake does winter kill, biologists have a plan in place. We'll try to get fish back in those water bodies as soon as it, we can. Uh, perch are a good example of that. Obviously, we don't have the resources to trap and transport walleye so much. Also, too, by late February, we can make some stocking adjustments. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.